So this is the first printing of the Maverick Skull that I've done on the CMCNC Artemis printer. And as I mentioned in previous videos, this was done with uh, a Robo 3D PLA, wood colored PLA. Looks like I need to get rid of a little support left over in the eye socket. Um, but this gives you an idea of the quality of the print we can do. This was at uh, 210 degrees with a 60 degree bed. I need to do a little cleanup, but the challenge specified that we don't do any sanding. You can see where the supports supported the bridging underneath here. Uh, it's a little bit here where my support fell over and I had to fake a support. Uh, but in general, it's actually a pretty nice print. Pick off these little pieces here. But for those of you in the group that wanted to see a completed print, this finally was one that I was able to turn out in full size. There was apparently about 42 grams of support material. And the model itself weighs 221 grams. That's pretty good. Here is the, my first Mustang skull print for the challenge on the CME CNC uh, 3D printer user group on Facebook. And I made a couple of other videos of the uh, print in progress. And I'll just point out a few things here. Right now it's sitting on its build plate. With the build plate, it's 833 grams. <clears throat> I haven't worked out what the weight of the build plate is yet. And because I want to figure out what the weight of the build plate was versus the weight of the object and the supports. And a couple of things you'll notice this mess down here and over here and over here is because the uh, supports, some of the supports fell over and I used a 3D printing pen to uh, try to clean that up. So I'm going to try to remove it from the bed and let's see what happens. I'll break away some of these supports. Let's see what happens if I just try to get a, a knife underneath it. Might as well take it off the scale now. That's better. So this little spatula does a pretty good job of getting underneath everything. And now the print has been released from the bed. Uh, the bed had uh, Elmer's uh, washable glue stick on it uh, for the build surface. And let's see what it's like removing some of these supports. The uh, model was sliced in Simplify 3D. You can see some of the uh, supports in the back. Oh, they came off very nicely and left a very nice clean back to it. Let's see if I don't ruin it, taking off the supports. There are going to be some supports that are going to be a little difficult to get to because they're actually inside the skull. Let's see if I can get the easy ones done first. This one came off pretty well. This one, when I reprint it, I might not use it all because it only held up that little uh, outcrop here and there was none on that side. If I do this again with Simplify 3D, I'm going to ask for solid bottoms on the supports. All right, that seems to be as much as I'm going to get out easily. Oh, maybe I'll get a few more out. Okay. 
see what I can get out with my hand versus using a pair of pliers. Have to be a little careful with this stuff because you can get kind of shards come at you. So here's one layer. There's another layer underneath. Now over here, up in this area here, is where I uh, uh, repaired the, um, the support, so I may have to refinish the bottom of that. But it was a good save, otherwise the, the print would have failed with, with uh, filament stringing all over the place. Alright, now it's getting a little tougher to remove some of these supports. That one was easy. These should come off pretty easily. Like that. Like that. This must be absolutely fascinating to watch other people work, so you can Humor yourselves while I struggle with figuring out how to best remove these supports. I find removing supports usually takes a few tools, pliers, uh, I've got a pair of forceps here, which would be really useful for reaching in and getting some uh, smaller pieces. Now some of this is down pretty deep. So if you're sitting here watching this guy removing supports, it just shows that you are easily entertained too. This one's being a little stubborn here, and this is where I'm going to use the forceps. Get in there, clamp it, and remove the piece. Maybe as long as I've got it in my hand this way, I'll try getting these out. Oh, it's not releasing so easily. I'll try pliers. side. And just hacking my way through the supports. Some of them are harder to remove than others. But so far they seem to be coming out. I really want to print this with dual extrusion, but my Artemis is not yet set up for dual extrusion. My Rostock Max V2 is, but this is more a test of the Artemis, the new Artemis printer than it is anything else.
This is also the first time I'm using a roll of uh, Robo 3D wood colored PLA filament. It's, uh, I originally thought it was going to be wood based filament, but it's not, it's just wood colored, which seems to work all right for this model. But I actually prefer working with filament that has wood in it when trying to do something that looks like wood. I've got some stubborn pieces in here that just don't want to release quite yet. Let's try clamping this. Rotating it out. There we go. So this is the bridging that uh, was supported by the scaffolding, the supports. Now, let's go into the front, see how this works out. exposing the eye socket. There's lots of support in the eye socket. I'm trying to be careful not to lever the uh, pliers against the outside of the eye socket. Oh, that came out really nicely. See how nice the inside of the eye socket is. That's very cool. It's going to be a little tricky trying to get some of these out from here, I think. Let's see. Uh, these were the automatic uh, supports that were generated by Simplify 3D. There's a little one over here, a little one over there, and there's some way deep in there. Maybe I'll try using the forceps to get those out. Ah, that worked very nicely. Try a few on the top here. These seem to be a little more stubborn. It's also fun trying to do this without getting in the way of the camera. Some of this will involve using uh, an exacto knife or something just to finish trimming some of these things away. I know, I know, it's fascinating. Just want to make sure I don't break anything on the model, and I'm only removing the scaffolds. And scaffolds in here are going to be tricky. dental tool. Try to pull them forward. back and get that one a little later.
Okay, next eye hole. And this is where dissolvable supports would be really nice to be able to get in there and put the whole thing into water and let it soak and let the dissolvable supports just dissolve. They're usually made of PVA, which is a type of glue. And that works out pretty well. Let's see, a little bit back here. Good. Some back here. Back here. I've got to get rid of this stuff up in here. That may be challenging. Because there's a gap between the skull and the inside of the helmet. There we go. Very nice. So this is out. This is all nice and clean. There's one in here. I'm trying to get hold of. And this is going to be tricky. Oh, a part of it. Success. A couple of little wispy strings here, but it looks like I might have gotten all the support material out. 